more conditional statements. So we've already talked about a conditional statement is if P then Q. where P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. And we've already talked about a con the converse is if Q, then P. Now the, the two other ones we're gonna learn today are the negation. So if you hear the word negation, that just means the opposite of or not. So if I said, um, let's see. If, what would be a good one? Oh, a figure is regular, then the negation of that would be a figure is not regular. So you just kind of put the word not in there. Or you could say irregular, which means the same thing. So the inverse statement of the if P then Q is just if not P, and we use this little squiggly line, then not Q. And the little word not is, can be written multiple ways. I think in this book they use a squiggly line, and the next book they use a little, um, looks like, looks like this. this like that. Anyway, you'll see lots of different ways to write not, but we'll just stick with a little squiggly for now. That just means not. Then there's called the contrapositive, which is basically the inverse of the converse. <laughs> so that's if not Q, then not P. That is the converse of the inverse and the inverse of the converse. <laughs> so the converse and the inverse will always have the same truth value. So if one is true, the other one will be true. They are called logically equivalent statements. So a by definition, logically equivalent statements are two statements with the same truth value. So that's the end of the lesson.